and uh, we are back welcome back to the stream everybody that right there was motormaster's theme from transformers devastation the game i streamed years ago which was really good really good i actually replayed a little bit of it i was going to say not too long ago but i feel like that's been almost a year but time has no meaning we know that and uh yeah yeah it still holds up still really good action game um, that has nothing to do with the game I'm currently going to play, it's just a song I felt like listening to, so there we go. Because what we're going to do, seeing as how I missed Retro Sunday last week, is we are going to play more of, and possibly finish, James Bond 007 for the Game Boy. That, that is my goal. I don't know how much more of the game is left, I might finish it within the next hour, it might take me another two or three, we'll see. I hope it's not going to take quite that long, but uh, we'll see what it does. But yeah, that will be the game of choice right now. Now, in reviewing the past footage, I discovered that the game's sound was rather loud, so hopefully I've got it turned down a bit better in the mix now, today. So without further ado, let's dive into our Game Boy tab. And get this game rolling. I'm going to need to adjust it on the screen over here once it starts, of course, but... Of course, I'm also going to have to adjust it here. There we go. Eh, I won't have to do too much adjusting. It's almost the right size. I'm just going to keep humming the theme, apparently. Alright, so I'm just going to carry on from wherever my save fall leaves me. It's probably going to be the beginning of that area. What's happening? I think my controller freaked up. Oh, this is a good way to start. And here I tested it and made sure that everything worked. And now it apparently does not. This is great. Great! I'm a professional, I swear. Uh, I'm gonna need to restart it. Alright, controller, you're plugged in, yeah? If I don't move around too much, the controller shouldn't disconnect. I feel like I shouldn't even bother messing with this until I know the controller's gonna work. We're better. I don't think I actually came into the temple um, last time I played through this particular area. Okay, I've got everything in my inventory that I need. Oh, I've got a med kit. Good, I'm probably going to need to use that. Also, let's equip the sword. Looking for answers must brave a treacherous journey through these mountains. Good to know. Oh, I don't actually have the grappling hook and stuff. I lost those. I got a pile of grenades. I can I can destroy the mountain. Will I achieve enlightenment if I turn the mountain to rubble? Can you answer me that woman? Old sage woman. Although she might not be an old sage woman. Maybe she's just generalizing. If one survives the journey through the mountains, the trial will then begin. Is this like the other place that has a hidden thing there? Oh! Had a hidden med kit though. That's why it doesn't hurt to actually, you know, look everywhere you can. And rob this mystic temple of all its treasures. Its treasures being a med kit. Welcome to Tibet. Your journey here will surely become a test of courage. I feel like 
I probably need to use that med kit. You know what, let's put on the light vest because, I mean, I'm probably going to- Oh, actually, no, I can't do that because I need the goggles to see where the hell I'm going. So I need a means of attack, but I don't have a means of defense. I do have a lot of grenades. Maybe I should use the grenades. I'm alive. Barely, but I'm alive. Yeah, let's go this way first. Thankfully the enemies don't seem to respawn in this game, which is a bonus. Oh yeah, that's right. Good luck, 007. It's the 00 agent that we sent here impersonating a Sasquatch because we just wanted to get him out of our hair. Because he ruined the coffee machine. Prick! Okay, I'm gonna want to investigate this place further. There might be something I can use. It's a room full of guns. It's an armory. You would assume there's something I can pick up for myself. Something to make this a little bit easier. So far, I don't see anything, though. Oh, wait, there we go! Machine gun! Hell yes! <laughs> I'm having that issue with the controller again. Okay, there we go. Alright. This is gonna be... Ugly as hell, I think, until I'm finished. No, how I said I needed to get better USB cables or something? Yep, yeah, nope. I never did do that. Where the hell am I gonna go to get them? I'm sure I've got several kicking around the house, I just need to dig around for them. No bond. Stop running into the wall. I don't know that the machine gun is any str- well, I don't know if it fires more rapidly, it's probably stronger. I imagine. Yeah, it looks like it only takes two hits to take them out, as opposed to three with the uh, other one. The pistol. Let me know exactly what we need to do with these guys. Once again, if the game lets me get out of the inventory screen. Grenade! Shit! Grenade! Grenade! Oh wait, no, he can't actually hit me from up there. Grenade! Let's see, I've got a buttload of grenades, why don't I just keep using them? I don't know, maybe it's just the way I'm holding the controller? I don't know. It wasn't giving me any grief when I first started playing this game a couple of weeks ago, I know that. Okay, it's only one... Stop that. It's only one dude, I should be able to take him out with the uh, machete. Save the ammunition. Oh good, machine gun bullets. Just what I needed. Although in this particular instance I might huck a grenade at this guy. Ow. And yet I still got shot. Ah! 
Well, I got a grenade off of that guy. That's that's good, I guess. No, oh, slow down. This fellow in his hidey hole. Stop it! Stop trying to kill me! Why can't you just let me leave in peace? I mean you no harm. In reality, I mean them quite a bit of harm. Oh, you prick! How dare! follow that guy. I nearly ran follow follow that guy because the controller's stuck again. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? I might be able to hook a grenade over the terrain. Yeah, there we go. And avoid this dude. Perfect. doing that thing again. Uh, one second there, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, right back at it. Providing my controller agrees. Well, hello, Baked. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, crap. My me, I'm just getting shot. Repeatedly. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was probably health. That would have been nice to have. A bit loud? Oh, it's still loud, is it? Oh, I've had to turn this down quite a bit then. Alright, let's try to turn it down to minus 10. Maybe that'll be better. Minus 10 in the mix. Oh, the controller disconnected again. Nice. This has been going rather poorly. Not exactly a great start. Um, do I have a better cable around here somewhere? I have a wireless controller, but it's not set up to be wireless, is the thing. And the amount of time it would take me to settle up now, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I just need a better cable. Finding one seems like it's going to be a pain in the hole, though. Although, something I know that does have a very secure connection. Let's see if this will work. I'm just gonna, like, completely dispel the illusion I'm playing this on original hardware. I'm playing this via emulator. Please don't come destroy me, Nintendo, and, you know, companies thereof. They shall strike down with great vengeance and furious anger anyone who dares to use an emulator for a system they don't own anymore. Though I did own two Game Boys when I was younger. Because we lost one. Which was mighty painful, I may as well say. You know, the controller I'm looking for I'm probably not going to be able to find now, am I? got more of a secure connection is my P... no, my PS. PS4 controller is the one I was using. 
something that has more of a secure connection is my Switch controller, speaking of Nintendo, so I might be able to use that. So as I figure out where this one's plugged in. Yeah, right there. Let's take that out. Ugh. Anyway, hopefully the game is a bit quieter there now. I did note that there was an issue with this last time I streamed it, way back when. Uh, let's see, can I actually mess with this here now? Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to work? Uh, okay, alright, I'm gonna have to... Hmm. I'm gonna have to close it out and reopen it, I think, to get it to work. If not, I think I need to do some kind of configuration thing with this controller to get it to work. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's cut out the middleman and do that right now. Alright, there we go, I think. Alright, so that's good to go. Now, this controller, the connection is not loose. It should work if I can get it to play nice with this emulator. So, good, it works. Although that was the wrong place. Right, so, up, down, left, right. A, B, L, R, though L, R doesn't matter for this. Select, and start. Alright, this time for certain, I hope, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure about anything anymore, let's be honest. Alright. Now if I'm really lucky, I won't have any more issues. <laughs> But I mean, it wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't have problems, let's be honest. Because that's just life, isn't it? Alright, so what was I doing? Yeah, I think I was equipping... that. You're kidding me, it's still not working? How is that all fucked up? Ugh. All right, let's try this one more time. Where's my input? Where's my input? Knock that back to the defaults. This is up, this is down, this is left, this is right. That's A, that's B, that's L, that's R. Select, that's start. Tech issues? Of course there's tech issues. It is me streaming. I mean, that seems to work, like, the A button maps to the A button with this. The B button also maps to the A button. Nothing maps to the B button. But I set that as the B button. How's about we exit the game and open it up again? Let's try that. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, said anything. Okay, let's let's just yeah. I'm not even gonna bother fixing the screen until I know this is gonna work. Nope, still nothing mapping to the B button. Uh, okay, let's try something else. Let's try... Let's clear everything. And then... Alright. No, that's not what I meant to do. I selected the wrong goddamn thing. So yeah, how's your day going? <laughs> Clearly you can see how mine's going. Big old pile of shite. Oh, you're good? That's good. That's good. That's good to hear. Oh look, it works now! Hooray! Maybe I can actually play this. I shouldn't be, um, celebrating too soon, because it's highly unlikely this is going to stick. I've become rather fatalistic, shall we say. Oh, there we go. Selected the wrong frame in OBS. Alright, now, finally, after... Oh, about 20 minutes. I can actually carry on with this game and play it as intended. With a controller that hopefully works. Pew pew! And then I can go pew pew pew. And hopefully track down odd job, the jerk. Okay, I think it might actually be better if I just go running at this guy screaming with a machete. That's my war face. Hey, hello, Rolls. Welcome back to the stream. You dropped by after all the horrible tech issues. So yeah, you, you came in at a good time. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Thank God, they've got a bunch of random bandages just lying around this dank cave. Oh, yes. Hello, 008. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun up there in your Sasquatch costume. I did not mean to shoot that statue. Metal. There are parts of these mountains that can only be reached with a, the aid of a steel hook. All I need now is some rope. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that quote. Yes, that's that's something you missed. I think it was yesterday baked. Rolls and I concurred, there had to be a new quote added to the quote list. The Rolls is the one who came up with the quote. <laughs> he's touched, he's flattered. He should be! Because every bit of it is true. Many brave the Tibetan mountains, but few survive to face the trial at the summit. Well, it's alright. If I don't survive, I'll just respawn. What are you talking about, James? The whole world's a video game, didn't you know? Wait, that's just here again. I think. Or is this a place I've already been to? Anyway, let's leap off the cliff and uh, slice this man in ribbons. Damn it! Okay, good. Ah, crap! Okay, I, may, maybe this isn't the same cave I was in before. Maybe this is just a cave that looks like that cave. Yes, this is a different place. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. All right. We need to go this way. Here 
Hey, who are you, pal? Got something to say to me? The hook alone will not allow you to reach the highest regions of these mountains. But use it with this rope, and they shall become available to you. Dude was just sitting on this mountaintop with that rope, waiting for some snappily dressed British man to come along. Now my life's purpose is complete. Uh, wait. I thought... I thought that's what I had to use it for. You mean it's not? I thought I hooked onto the bottom part of the ladders. Oh shit! I didn't think that through. Clearly I have to go find another area. Ah crap, dudes. They have respawned. It's fantastic, that is. Um... The hell, I got grenades. GRENADE! It's just the wind! I like how the guy's sprite had him look up after the grenade went off. He's like, ah, hmm. Bats are awfully loud today. Yeah, let's charge this guy with a machete. Providing I face the right way. All right. That went poorly. <laughs> Honestly, screw using the guns. Maybe I should just charge them all. He's a machete-wielding maniac! You know, James Bond and uh, Jason Voorhees, they have so much in common. Hey, 008. Why 008? Keep an eye out for that Yeti drug smuggling ring or whatever the hell bullshit story we fed you to get you up here, dressed like that. Have I already been this way? Yeah, I think this is where I got the gun originally, the machine gun. Okay. Goddamn maze like mountain. The Mountains of Madness, as it were. Yeah, nope. Walked headlong into that. Stop. Stop! I probably would have been better off charging that guy with a machete. Ah, fuck. Charge! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna corpsify pretty damn quick here. Okay, I think that leads me back out that way. Ah. Uh. How was he not hitting me? Yeah, it does honestly seem like just standing back and exchanging a fire is a good way to get myself killed, and I'm better off just running at them. Why does this look like the other place? Oh no, I need to get a- yeah! Alright. The monks have placed statues throughout these mountains. Use their strength during your- I need to use this- yeah, that that's what I have to hook on to. I need to hook on to the statues, gotcha. Well, if that's the case, I probably could have gone up to another place over that way, but... Whatever. 
I think that's meant to be like a yak or something facing me, but for whatever reason, all I can see is like this is a ass crack. So like I'm hooking the grappling hook into the ass crack of a stone yak. A lot of ack noises in that. In that sentence I just said there. That's a hell of a sentence. Hey, more weaponry. Anything in here I can take? Probably not. Oh, I was mistaken. Hmm. I'll bet this box down here. No? Okay. Have you ever hooked into the ass crack of Yak? You haven't lived! Hello, what's that? Rocket launcher! Okay. I should probably hang on to that for specific situations. I feel like clusters of goons is a good thing to use that for. Now the one thing I do remember about this is I think I do fight- it's one of the w few memories I have of this game. I'm pretty sure I fight Oddjob in these caves and I need a riot shield to fight him. Because he's, he's your stereotypical tennis boss, you have to deflect his hat back at him. I'm pretty sure that's the strategy you have to employ. And apparently a riot shield is what you need to do to, uh, what you need to use to do it. Let me to interrupt your leisure time. Oh, he has a bazooka! I can only imagine the grenade dudes explaining about how they let me go. It's like, so James Bond came in here and he murdered your friends with a machete? Screaming the whole time and then he left? What did you do? I threw a grenade at him. D did it hit him? No, he walked really fast to the other section of the cave. You didn't tell anyone? No, I don't have a phone or a radio or anything. Did you at least shoot at him with like your sidearm? Did you chase him? No, I just have this box of grenades and I like it here. My dugout is comfortable. I just got it the way I want it to. The way I want it, I should say. I'm not leaving this place. Are you daft? They don't pay him enough to shoot. Exactly. They don't pay me enough to shoot at this crazy Englishman with a bloody machete. If you've seen the murderous gleam in his eye. I might be able to huck a grenade over the... Ha! Ah! Screw you all! I just need to worry about the other grenade, dude. See, I can go down there, but I'm scared. I don't want to end up somewhere I can't get back from. Which is what exactly what I'll do if I go down there, so... Let's go this way, I guess? This place is a goddamn maze, so I have no idea where I'm even going. Oh! You? When one faces a test of courage, they must remember to defend themselves. Before attacking, it's equally important to take care of one's health. Good advice. You're basically telling me not to die. I got you. Hey, look, another bazooka. But who needs to defend when I have rocket propelled explosives? Yes. Where in your fancy spiritual beliefs does it tell you that? Yeah. Ow. Did 
damn it. Damn it. I have got to stop putting myself in a corner like that. Okay. Still kind of dying. Still not in the best of health. Maybe I should have listened to the Tibetan man. Oh wait, I think I know where this area is. Means I'm turned around again. As long as I don't run out of grenades, I'll be safe. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Guaranteed I've already been up- well, I know I've already been up here. That's, that's the problem. Ah, shit. Nobody puts Cap Rogers in the corner? No, they shouldn't. No more they shouldn't. Well, that was a waste of some good rockets, I feel, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, thank God, some health. Alright. I won't be dying in these caves yet. Soon! But not yet. Oh, hey, did I go this way? I think I did. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there we go. That's the place I haven't gone to yet. Let's hook that crack! Seems like an awful thing to say, but there we are. To find what you're looking for, you must first survive the test of courage. I did it! I found the place! I think. Yeah! It's big and important looking. It must be it. Why else would they put a big fancy building on top of this fuck off huge mountain? That's how this works, right? Let, let's equip the vest. Oh, never mind. You must leave your equipment at the door. We will now remove all your weapons. You may now continue, but why? Offense can only be achieved through defense. You have reached the test of courage. There's no turning back now. But I'm scared. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Okay. I mean, they were telling me up and down that I had to do this. Can't say you ever remember the, any of this in any of the Bond movies. Hey, you don't remember the time he had to fist fight three sumo wrestlers? On a mountain in Tibet, of all places? Correction, six sumo wrestlers. See, the funny thing is, they're talking about how this is some mystical lesson. This is the first thing I learned playing the game. Like, the very first bit of combat you get into, they tell you you have to block your opponent's attacks so you can hit them. So, I mean, this isn't anything new. This isn't anything I didn't already know about. Sumo's not even a thing in Tibet, isn't it? Am I wrong? Because that's a Japanese thing, right? So this is all kinds of wrong.
But then again, I suppose I shouldn't be too uh, concerned about um, a James Bond game about being culturally accurate. Let's be real. Oh, there's four this time! They're chivalrous enough to only attack me one at a time, though, so that's nice. Oh, who knew the, the sumo wrestlers would fight like English gentlemen? Bond says to himself. How many of these do I have to fight? I mean, I get it. I need to block and then I need to attack. It's not really a harrowing gauntlet, is it? I mean, sure, I fucked up and gotten hit a couple of times, but... Compared to the... Caverns full of gun-toting maniacs I just had to traverse through... This is easy-peasy. have survived the test of courage, your reward may not be fitting. Okay. You have reached both the end of your journey and the one you seek. I think I'm looking for Odd Job. Isn't was, so did Odd Job have all these guys fight me? He did. Congratulations on passing the test of courage. Why are you so big, Odd Job? Our job's like 10 feet tall. Mr. Bond, welcome to your reward. Why our job? You must doubt your abilities to need so much reinforcement. I hope you can retain your unique sense of humor as we escort you to our base for interrogation. Secret base. Okay, I thought I had to fight, um... Nice to see that they left me with the marble, the satellite map, and the night goggles. With my equipment still in Tibet, it appears I have no choice but to accept my host's hospitality for the moment. They definitely didn't consult the Golden Eye Makers about the size of Odd Job. <laughs> no, they did not. James, hang on, I'll have you out of there in a second. Excuse me? Oh, it's you! You're looking much more alert than when I last saw you. I might just enjoy this interrogation after all. Ah, yes, Zhang Mei, looking more alert, he says, because he got into a fist fight with her and knocked her unconscious. <laughs> Because she was the first boss in the game. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to help you. I only assisted the arms cartel to raise money to defend my village. I was led to believe that this was a one-time money-making deal. I realize now that this is only the first step in a large plan. We have to get out of here. Before they discover I've helped you. Escape. Before we can leave this base, I must find and decipher the security system. While you're doing that, I have a score to settle with our job. He should have more information about this master plan. Be careful, James. The base is heavily guarded, but there are weapons to be found. Look for something to block our job's hat as well. Oh, I like how they have this set up so I can sneak up on dudes. Not very sneaky of me there, though. Damn it! Are these guns mine now? Can I take these guns? No. How about these guns? Okay, there we go, that's better. 
Honestly, if it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one thing, I'm still probably better off using my fists. Of course, these guys seem to be fairly well armored, though, is the problem. are nice. I could stand with more health, though. Oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Big kits are nice, too. Oh, yes, this is the uh, funky tune that they played back in Marrakesh, I believe. Which I really enjoy, except it sounds like it's pitched down a little bit. Or at the very least slowed down a bit. Damn it! That probably caused their uh, health bars to reset. Okay, let's uh, let's try to be a bit more tactical about this. A little on ammunition. Oh, good. More pistol ammunition. I'm not out of this fire fight yet. Oh god, there's too many of them. Run, James! Glad that I have more medkits, though. How many of those do I have? I've got two now. Now, let's not use it unless I have to. I should save it, though. This is going poorly. I was gonna be able to cheese it. Instead, I'm just running out of all my ammunition. Run! Run and punch! Oh, and this would be the one room that has nothing, wouldn't it? Alright, to hell with it. I need to heal myself. I do have those grenades, though. I got five grenades. It's better than nothing. Grenade! Grenade! And now we run. Grenade! Grenade! Oh, that vest is probably gonna be handy. That machine gun's gonna be handier again. Right, I, I don't know how the vests work. This is the first time I've actually equipped any of them. All the same, I'm better off not getting hit. Okay, I'm out of ammunition. Aha! A bullet! Okay, so the vest seemed to, like, one hit equals one piece of durability for the vest, but it doesn't injure me. That was a bomb. I forgot that's a thing that can happen in the game. in action. Damn. Yeah. Oh god. I'm... Hmm. Right, well, let's use a grenade to take out one of them. Fuck. <laughs> that didn't work well. I knew it was going to be that easy.
And then Bond ran. Oh good, nerve vest. Just in the nick of time, that. Okay, I have 11 grenades and two bullets. We're doing okay, by which I mean, no, we're really not. Doing better than they are, at least. Damn it. Damn it, I could have used that item, whatever it was. Ah, heavy vest, good. I have no idea where I'm going. Alright, that's uh, more pistol ammunition. Oh, that guy has a bazooka! That sucked a lot. Right, something tells me I'm going to want to kill these guys because I'm going to want whatever's in the uh, gun crate. If I can get to the gun crate. That's a bazooka guy, I think. Ow! I'm very deaf to controlling this game, even with a better controller. Why is it taking so many bullets to kill this guy? Thinks he's so great because he has a bazooka. If I had a bazooka, I'd show him. Not dead. Oh, I do have bazooka. Now I can show him. Although honestly, at this point, it's probably best to just keep punching the guy. There we go. How's that? Shield. Haha, <laughs> fuck you! Who's the man now? What's that? Oh, it's, uh, ammunition for the rocket launcher. I don't need that, I have the shield. I can just keep doing this. Block and punch. Block and punch. I feel like my fists do more damage than the uh, pistol. Pistol ammunition does. <laughs> These are the only guns I need. Ma pow. Well, I don't think that guy was even hitting me anyway. Or no. Oh, this is the cell I was in. Okay, all right. Right, right, odd jobs probably in the uh, central area. I think the this secret base was creatively designed as a giant square. Well, I mean, that, you know, makes sense. It's basically a fort, so. And square is the best foundation of a fort, I guess. 
I punched both of them at the same time. That's great. Oh. It's not great as they can still hit me from the side. That was a bomb. Somebody set me up the bomb. And by somebody, I mean the man I just punched to death. Screw it. Murder everyone. It's not a proper James Bond mission unless you kill every single person. Because he's the world's greatest spy. Well, that's what spies do, right? They kill everybody really loudly. It causes as much collateral damage as possible. just punching these guys. I can just use the shield and the gun. Come on, now. She is Zhang Mei. I figured out part of the security code. Take care of our job before I finish. That's cool. Where is he? I thought he was in here. Where the hell is he? he's over here somewhere. In an area I completely missed, that's entirely possible. Oh, he could be up there. Alright. Let's deal with his goons first, then. Stop dancing! There's a gunfight going on down there. You think we should help Bob? Nah, screw Bob. Dude still owes me a nickel. No way these guys take forever to kill with a pistol. Play rockets with rockets. And how sturdy is Bond? He takes a rocket to the face and he survives it. These guys, one measly rocket and they're dead. I just shot me with a rocket. I'm fine. I shoot him with a rocket and he's paced. Funny old world. Some men just can't take a rocket propelled grenade to the face. Yeah, this has got boss corridor written all over it. Bunch of mooks in your way, rooms with helpful items. Game's being too generous. Damn it. Well, it seems like only every second room has something in it. Now, the thing is, I don't actually think I need, uh, any ammo for Odd Job. I think I just hurl his hat back at him. So I'm gonna miss.
No, okay, no, this is where I fought him. I thought I fought him in the caves, but he's here. That's a lot of tanks. Yeah, tanks. Yeah, see ya. I thought there would have been something down here. But of course not. That would make too much sense. I do love that there's several ways you can exploit how the game works. It's like, no, he can't hit me from here. But I can hit him, so I just keep punching him in the corner. No, the rocket guys. I can't block the I can't block the rockets with the shield. I thought I could. Either that or it was too close. I suppose that makes sense. I should actually start using my weapons again. Machine gun madness! Oh, and it's, uh, you, you legitimately do fire three bullets every time you pull the trigger with a machine gun. It's something they, uh, actually paid attention to the detail of, I guess. Oh, I'm actually pretty close to dead. I should fix that! Got three med kits. I'm pretty sure I can use one and not miss it. Well, that sucked. Not for certain the shield could block that, but I guess not. Oh, I don't have any ammunition left for that. Um... Still it is. Why would you lay this place out like this? Why would you make this a maze that's very difficult for you to get through? I think you would have perked all the tanks in a corner or something. Like, look at the way they're parked up there. If you wanted that one specific tank that's in the corner, how would you get it out? I feel like you haven't planned this through, odd job. No! He says when he dies. I have grenades, why didn't I use those? More to the point, I have my own rocket launcher, why didn't I use that against the dude? How silly of me. Yeah, I don't think it really matters where I go. I don't think there's anything all that useful I can find in this place. I just need to find Odd Job. That's a bazooka guy. I hate him so much. me in the feet! Agony of defeat. This is some real slow moving bullets though if you think about it. I 
Ah, prick. I'm pretty close to dead again. Oi. Let's leave that guy be, I don't need to kill him. No, it's a bazooka guy. Um, luckily I have one of my own! Ooh. Let's try going up this way. Maybe. all the rockets you want. You can't hit me. I suppose this guy could, though. Not if I hit him first! Pachoom! I think I need to go up there where the other two bazooka guys are, though. Yep, that's a dead end. With a bazooka guy. Damn you, bazooka guy! Speaking of bazooka guys, I shall become the bazooka guy. Or maybe the grenade guy. Let's be the grenade guy. <laughs> eventually. Eventually I'll be that guy. Just juts over the shield and he's like, nope. I think I'll leave. There he is! Odd job. Toll job! Odd tall? Tall job? I don't know. I don't know what the best way to put it is. I see I wasn't as thorough as I needed to be. That is a mistake I will make only once. Technically you made it twice, because you had already kidnapped me and put me out in the desert, thinking that would kill me. And then you captured me with a horde of dudes with guns, and you put me in a cell, and that didn't work either, so... I feel like you failed repeatedly on job. You've lived a life full of mistakes on job. And that that's not about to change now. Where is he getting all the hats? I know that's his thing, but you know, is he me? Does he does he just have a rack full of hats he can throw at people? I thought I'd throw my hats at anybody. Wouldn't be very effectual at that. Po to, to put it that way, either. Shit, nope. I'm not as effectual as that. And now I gotta start right from the beginning! God damn it. I was going to heal myself, but. Actually, you know what? Why didn't I just put the. God damn it. I should have just put the med kit in the hot bar anyway, because I can't attack a job with my guns, I don't think. I need to hit him with his own hats. So yeah, I've got a heavy vest and a med kit that I could have put in that slot. Oh well, things to know for next next time. Next time I fight him. I just gotta remember how to get back to him. Nope. 
We've got to be careful. Yeah, more healing bandages would be nice, wouldn't it? Ah, bastard. You know what, I can leave that guy alone. Nope, he's a bazooka, dude. Which means I need to respond in kind. shitload of machine gun ammunition. Don't know why I didn't notice that. Achoom. Alright, I think our job is up next, isn't he? Let's equip the light vest. Well, you get to make the mistake again. Odd job. I also like how the way they do the sprite work for the faces in this game is it's just two little dots for the eyes and just a little dot for the mouth. Even with Odd Job, who is a larger and therefore they could have put more detail into his face, it's just two little eyes and a mouth. It's it's like a snowman. It's weird. Keep an eye out for when that vest runs out. And I'm gonna equip the other one. I don't know how many times I gotta hit him. Nope. Vest is done! Heavy vest. If I run out of the vests and he kills me, then I'm going to have to... Uh, well, if I run out of the vests and use the medkit and he kills me, then I'm going to have to rely on my own skill and God help me, if that's the case. I'd sooner just take him out now if I can. How many times do I have to hit him? Oh, there goes the other vest. Fuck. Ugh. Why? There we go. Stop! You've beaten me. Spare me, Bond. I'm not the one you want. Tell me more. A man named Golgov. He set up all the deals. I think he is trying to mass an army to crush the West. You know, the West. TM. Just generalized. West of where? Everything is West of something. You need to specify our, our job. Where can I find this Golgov? I don't know. He never let me contact him directly. He used a man in Kurdistan. Qatar was his name. I think he knows where the general is. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I just like the like like the sprite there now. Odd job is just like he looks like a dog you've told to heal. I guess I need to go all the way back now to where Zhang Mei is. Good boy. That's a good odd job. Now stay, and don't run arms again. Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't kill that guy. 
Let's fix that problem, shall we? pay in the hole if I took out our job and I get taken out on my way back. Don't mind me, lads. Just need to go see a lady about getting the hell out of here. Oh god, I'm actually pretty close to dead. Um, shit. Okay. Well, let's... Really, really don't like the guys with the bazookas. Honestly, it might be a bad idea to just try to run. Hold ass! Ow! Okay, I actually need to use the other med kit because if I die now, I am going to be super pissed. Was fucked up there, didn't realize I was facing the wrong way. Oh, they moonwalking! Or at least they were kind of moonwalking. Ow. she get past these guards? Unless they still assume she's working with them. Okay, there. Let's get the hell out of here. James, I've got the code. Did you take care of odd job? Indeed. I'm afraid he has a splitting headache now. He revealed that there is a man named Qatar in Kurdistan who is in direct contact with General Golgov, who, by the way, is the man behind all this, just to let you know. I think I'll pay him a visit. I have a friend in Kurdistan by the name of Mustafa. Please, if you find him, you find him if you need assistance. I'll let him know you're coming. Goodbye. James, please be careful. See ya. This is the same place I was to before. This is where I got the machete that I lost. Maybe I can get a new one. That'd be nice. Hey, mister. Look what you did. Without Iqbal to protect us, the rebels destroyed our village. Um, sorry, I guess? Oh. That man is dead. Well. I... Kinda fucked up? I kinda fucked up. I wasn't expecting that I'd be seeing, you know, corpses being picked over by ravens in this game, but here we are! Things got bleak. Draw me like one of your French girls. Wait, is he dead, or...? He's not saying anything. Then again, maybe he knows I'm the guy who was responsible for all this bullshit. So maybe he has nothing to say. Yeah, this, this, this got a lot bleaker than I thought it would, to be honest. Look at that 
sprite? It's like that guy's eye is coming out of his head. What is that? Jesus. This is pretty gruesome for considering how low bit it is. Jesus Christ. I'm disturbed. All the more so because I'm responsible for this bullshit. Phew, I spit in your face. My husband Iqbal would have saved us from Saddam's men. Okay. Oh, so that's who did this, I guess. Saddam, you say? Hmm. Yeah, I'm... kind of the bad guy here. These faces are going to haunt my nightmares tonight. You saved us from Iqbal, but you didn't make our lives any better. My uncle Mustafa is north of here and could use your help. Help him win our freedom. You'll need this machete to get past the bushes. Hooray! Machete! <laughs> Hooray! Oh no. Well, to be fair, last time I was here, I stole that machete from somebody else and I shot out the light in that bar so I can get through. So I've already caused all kinds of bullshit anyway, so you know. A and now, mass murder, apparently. Behold, Bond, these are the faces of your victims. How many corpses are there? Why is everyone dead? Oh yeah, because of the things that I did. Okay, that was the cave Iqbal was in. Hey, did the other double-O agent get out before this happened? Or am I responsible for his death too? Bushes do I need to cut through to get? I thought he said bushes in the north. Was it directly north of him? Possibly. How much more of this nightmare do I need to see? North of here can use her help. Like the only two places with bushes I see that are north are there and here. Any here, I guess, but I can't. Can I get? Well, I can get past the corpse. Yeah, this is where Iqbal's cave was. But I can't get in there because it's blocked off. And I can't get past this body. Oh no, that is 008! Oh shit! <laughs> 008! I'm sorry, old friend. I had hoped that you would make it back to London. What's this? This pen looks like one of Q's inventions. Goodbye, 008. Okay, I was wondering if 008 got out before all this happened, and the answer is no. So yes, Bond is the architect of the destruction of this town and the murder of his colleague. That's a big ol' whoopsie, that is. Oh, the exploding pen. Alright. I'm gonna need that to get through that cave. Oh, this is, um, yeah. I kind of feel really awful about this. I forgot that this was a thing in this game. I'm pretty sure I've seen this game all the way to the end, and... I didn't realize that this was a thing. Apparently I need to get my way through artillery fire now. I don't know. Dying a, in a fiery explosion is probably all I deserve right now. And that's exactly what happened. I died in a fiery explosion. I don't know, I feel like I just need to run. run and hope to god I don't get killed. Alright, 
Alright, so I got this and I got the machete. If I die now, I'm probably gonna have to go back to the beginning. At least say I get some uh, healing items off of these guys. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to fight me. I helped you massacre this vill- Oh no. You know what? Just, just, yeah, right there. <laughs> just, just one right here. Is that man peeling potatoes? Ah. Damn it. I have a machine gun, what am I doing? I hate potatoes, don't you? Um, I think you have other problems right now, buddy, but okay. Ow. I as well have several other problems right now. The major one getting shot in the face. <laughs> People dying all around. Man, I can't stand these potatoes. This crazy Englishman who is the cause of all the problems in this area just comes in gunning people down left and right and he's just over there peeling potatoes. Like, how do you feel about potatoes? Me, I can't stand them. It's the starchiness I hate. How dare you interrupt me! Planning war tactics requires my undivided attention. An acquaintance of yours by the name of Oddjob directed me to you. He said that you would know how to reach General Golgov. General Golgov wanted to be in touch with you. He would not be here disrupting me. Oh, I don't know what the first part of that was, I skipped by it, but it's in your best interest to tell me Golgov's location. It's clear that you are an enemy of the General's, and therefore an enemy of mine. You will get no help from me. Instead I'm going to... spankity spankity, apparently. And I'm gonna slice and dice. Oh, I didn't even think he could hit me. Well, he's dead now. So much for that info I was supposed to get. Well, I guess we're not gonna find this Golgov guy. Ever. Still hate those potatoes? Yeah. Listen, the boss man's dead, you can leave. You could all leave. I don't know why we shoot, we just follow orders. I don't know why we shoot. I don't know, you cleaned me out with a couple of those. Okay, so I get the feeling that coming up here might have been a bad idea. I don't know where the dude is. I, I, I just killed that guy. I was probably supposed to keep him alive, I don't know. I guess I need to find the, uh, the other guy that I was told to look out for. Or I can die. Dying's good too. Okay, note to self, don't go to the enemy camp. Let's see if I can find the dude I'm supposed to be helping. Is he over here? Maybe he's down here. Yeah, he's in this cave, maybe. This isn't a cave, this is a place I can get exploderated.
Wait, what? No, I'm still getting bombed? How the hell is- what? No! How am I supposed to get through that? Excuse me, while I get shot and mortared at the same time. This game was a mistake. Okay, tell you what, I I'm just gonna haul ass. I'm gonna put on this heavy vest and I'm gonna haul ass. I should also equip the shield, that might help too. Screw the guys with the guns. Hey, what? Why can't I? Can, can I? Can I get past? Oh, Jesus! Oh, he was standing in just the one spot I needed to go. What a dirty prick. Okay, I'm not getting bombed anymore, at least. Stop firing! Okay, good. Uh, please say there's like a med kit or something in here for me. Thank God. I needs it. Forget the heavier firepower for the remainder of this. Saddam has very powerful guns, but is frightened easily. Okay. Hey, how do you feel about potatoes? The other guy seems to despise them. Do you enjoy the potatoes? What's that? Why aren't you in uniform? Soldier! I'm afraid you've got the wrong man. However, I believe you can help me. I'm looking for information on a man by the name of Golgov. Oh, this is Saddam. How dare you walk in here and demand information from me! Um... What am I supposed to do? He can take a rocket to the face and live. Apparently he's easily frightened though, I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, that means I had to swing a saber at him. <laughs> I also like how he was kind of bulging out of his shirt even before he ripped it off. Okay, okay. General Gorkov has supplied both my army and the army of my ally to the north with weapons. I never deal with him directly. Katara's the one you want. He knows how to reach the general. It's amazing that someone has, as spineless as you can do so much harm to other people. Much like myself. I already knew Katara knew where the guy is, but I had to kill him is the thing. Damn it! Ah, fuck! Stuck! Dead! Oh, and I start all the way back here. 
so do I need to go do that again? What happens if I go to the right when I have the branching paths? How about then? Like, I knew Katara was the guy I wanted, but... Okay, these are- these are friendlies. Gotcha. Do you have any material I can steal? That's good. I'll take that. I hate potatoes, don't you? Oh, see, that's something that the opposing sides can agree on. Their hatred of potatoes. Or we those two guys, anyway. You do what I need to talk to? You must be James Bond. A mutual friend asked me to assist you during your stay here. The only assistance I require is in finding a man by the name of Golgov. Ah, yes. The man who supplied my enemies with unlimited arms. You know, it's really too bad that Saddam and Qatar couldn't see the general's true intent. He only assisted them to make our country weak with war and, therefore, much easier to invade. Since you've taken care of my enemies for me, I will reveal the location of the general's- Oh, okay. Alright. So the game actually registered that I killed the one dude and made the other one piss his pants, so we're good. The General's base is protected with state-of-the-art weapons. This mirror will protect you from some of the weapons. Hurry, Mr. Bond. It won't take long for the General to realize that Saddam and Katara have been defeated. My guide will help you reach Russia. Of course he's in Russia! It's always the Russians. Please have a safe journey, Mr. Bond. Hello, Mr. Bond! I will join you in your journey to Russia! This is as far as I dare go. Mr. Bond, if you are able to reach the northeast corner of this junkyard, you will find one of General Golgov's henchmen. Defeat him! and you can enter the General's hidden base. Good luck. Pretty good tune too, come to think of it. Also, buddy, you sure this place is safe? You sure I'm not gonna grow an extra limb hanging out here? Maybe if I go this way. Um. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I kind of got inside your range. Very much a super villain lair, though, isn't it? I was charge grena grenade man with my blade. And now I have grenades of my very own! Yes. Oh, uh, I think that guy's probably got a rocket launcher or something. That's okay. Boom! We're not taking any chances. And you know, are we surprised that the Russians end up being the villains? Of course not.
It wouldn't be a James Bond story if that weren't the case. And of course, this is a dead end, meaning I have to go all the way back. I should have known that what appeared to be the path of least resistance would not be the right way to go. This is a video game, that's not how the logic works. Down this way. More goons. Uh, let's go to the left. Yep, he's got a bazooka. Okay, so the slightly off green dudes are bazooka guys. And that's a dead end. So the whole place is indeed a giant maze. Of radioactive goo. It's probably overrun with ninja turtles. You'd think they'd help me. If that was the case. Also, I like how the dude who told me where this place was is like, you know, he has state-of-the-art weaponry, so take this cheap mirror, and then you can defeat him. Thanks, bud. Greatly appreciated. face became transparent when I hit him. <laughs> ah, Bazooka Man! Okay, I've got four mid kits. I do not want to come back and have to do all this shit over again, so... Killing myself seems to be a must. I'll switch over to the pistol for now. Okay. Alright, looks like he's gonna be in a bit of a hard spot to get at, isn't he? He can just keep running on my blade. Jump on my sword while you can! I have to use all the weaponry at my disposal. Okay, yeah, they've got, like, weird alternate firing patterns. At least I thought they did. Made it a bit hard to figure out when I was supposed to shoot them. Nope. Um, to the right this time, maybe? Will it be as easy as this? Probably not. If I keep hurling the grenade in, at this container, maybe it'll fall over and crush my enemy. Keep living the dream, Grenade Man. Someday. Maybe in the afterlife you will be able to defeat me. Or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that.
Let's just stand here and taunt him for a little bit. You know, maybe another way we can look at this is he's not actually throwing grenades at me. He's not trying to kill me. He's just waving enthusiastically hello. He's sick to death of hanging out in this radioactive wasteland. He's excited to see a new face. Anyway, let's chop his face off. This is why you shouldn't be excited to see new people, I guess. I don't know, that's a pretty awful lesson to take from this. God damn it. I hate this place. Although I should have known this was the wrong way. I guess I just have to... Maybe it's just I need to keep taking the left-hand path. That's what it is. I wonder, can I huck a grenade over towards him from here? The answer is yes. What you don't understand is we're living on a two-dimensional plane. It's very strange, I know. Shit, he's actually... Ah! I thought he was hurling the grenade straight over me. Oh, uh, now I gotta start right back from the beginning. Fuck. Okay, well, now I know I need to go left both times, just to save time. All the mockery I made of the grenade guys, and one of them is what kills me. Now shall be the true rise of Grenade Guy! It will rue the day they mocked us for being ineffectual. Ah, damn it. Okay, if I'm not careful, I'm going to die again, so... <laughs> Healing may be required. That's a dead end. No, I had to go down, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Yes, this way. I should probably switch back over to the pistol for a bit. I'm gonna find this really tense now for some reason, and I don't know why. <laughs> you know, sometimes I stop and think, it's like, it's mind-boggling that this is a game we actually had. I'd be able to find my physical copy of this probably when I went out home. Which probably won't be for in her couple of months yet, but you know. Soon, hopefully soon. 
I can't even remember why we bought it. I think it might have been because we had Goldeneye and we really loved that. And we were like, hey, this will be just like Goldeneye, except on the Game Boy. We were wrong. Because we were children and we were stupid. But it's a pretty good game in its own right, as frustrating as it can get. Of course, then again, Goldeneye can get pretty frustrating, too, if you're playing that on the hardest difficulties. Or if you're playing multiplayer against somebody as Odd Job. Well, it's somebody playing as Odd Job, not you yourself, of course. Are we there yet? I think we go left. Let's go left. Yeah, because I died over here, didn't I? Well... Let's make good use of these grenades. Fuck! Not this time. Not this time, you bastard. No need to waste any more, he's just there. Ah, shit. Um, okay. What? No! Stop that! spread of that guy for a minute. It looks like he's going... You can't see right now, but I'm just furiously tapping my feet. I'm gonna get him! He's just so excited to blow somebody up. And that's exactly what he was doing. He was holding his hands, like, real close. I guess this meant to replicate holding on to the pin of a grenade or something, but it just makes him look adorable. Of course it was a bomb. Guaranteed it's not right the way I have to go, but let's go right anyway. I really don't want to use another med kit, but I'm probably going to have to. We'll save it and see what happens. Damn it! Why? The goddamn tank, that's what's... Ah. The tank's stopping me, but not him. There. Guaranteed this is the wrong way, but... I won't know until I check. Why can I not hit him? What? No! There. Shit. Um... There, that's better. Gotta thread the needle, apparently.
be real nice if I could find another med kit somewhere, but uh, bigger scampy choosers and all that. What the hell am I doing? It's just slice and dice. I should shoot that guy though. So he'll probably be able to pin me down otherwise. This isn't the right way, boy is my face going to be red. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this whatsoever. Ah, <laughs> bastard! Okay, let's... No, I'm not... No, let's not use the other med kit. I'll just redo all this afterwards if I have to. kill, but I'll take it. Although I might be able to cheese this one. Or that can happen. I'm beginning to hate this place. Yeah, and I've only got the one med kit left now. Boy! Alright, so I know I have to go left at both of the branches. Up along. So left here and left at the next one like this. At least, I presume. I was standing so close to him, I couldn't actually hit him with the gun. I swear to god, I find this Golgov guy, I'm going to rip him to shreds for frustrating the hell out of me. Nope, this wrong way. It was left and down, and then left again, I think. Wait, was that a bandage or a med kit? That was no, that was just bandage. I don't know if any of them actually have dropped med kits. Which is annoying, but there we are. Vest. I suppose that would come in handy if I fight the grenade dudes or the uh, bazooka guys. 
considering I know I can't block them. You know, like that. Ah. Dirty prick! Thank you so much! Which is quite the nuisance. I need to rain explodey death down on more people. Don't you know? Nice if they drop some more, that'd be good. Start run low of uh, low on the machine gun ammunition too. Back to the pistol for now. Oh no, you don't, you bastard! Okay, left. I think. Pretty sure it's left. Yeah, I might be able to take this guy out without using a grenade. Yes. Maybe this guy too. Nah, it's getting too dangerous. Bit too hairy, that. Where does my name come from? Oh, you mean like my, uh, my Twitch username, Cap Rogers? Um, that, that comes from a fairly old joke in that, um, well, I mean, <laughs> it's not even really so much of a joke as it is just a natural course of things. See, my, that, that's also my nickname in pool, and it's also a nickname a lot of people gave me years ago, and that's because my name is Steve Rogers. So, you know, Steve Rogers, Captain America. That- that's where it came from, that's it. That, 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 that's- that's the joke. I just couldn't think of anything better to uh, put in as my username on Twitch, so that's what I used. Oh, Bake finally asked the question you were always too embarrassed to ask. But yeah, no, that's it. It's, it's just a reference to Captain America. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Ah. Uh. I don't want to use the med kit, but they're rare. Some cap lore. It's a funny thing, actually, because the first, like, nearly year I was playing pool, I didn't have a nickname. A lot of people, like, you know, in the pool league, you get a nickname. That's that's just how it works. But then when I was playing in the first Provincials, we were playing against this other team, and I heard a laugh, and I looked over at the guy, he looked over at me, the guy who was taking score for the opposing team, and he looked at me, he's like, your name is seriously Steve Rogers? And I was like, yeah. And nobody's called you Captain America yet? And I'm like, no, actually. <laughs> he said, well, we need to change that. And now, forevermore, that has been my nickname in pool. And now you know the rest of the story. Of course, that's a... Uh, Fairly ironic nickname for two reasons. Number one, I've always been more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan. And number two, I have never been to the United States. Not once. Which I don't know, I just kind of love the irony of that. I'm not missing much. Eh, especially the last several years, I suppose. There's a few places down in the States I wouldn't mind visiting, though, someday. 
Gotta get to bourbon country at some point. Yeah, speaking of which, save yourself the four hours Zack Snyder Justice League Cup was kind of meh. See, I've heard people say it was awful. I've heard that people loved it. And I've heard several more people just having the meh reaction. Honestly, I don't... No, I haven't actually watched the Justice League movie, ever. And I don't really have any intention to. <laughs> Not really. I am a much bigger DC fan than I am Marvel, but I will readily admit that Marvel is doing the whole movie thing a lot better than DC is. Though, DC does have a couple of good ones. I haven't seen Aquaman yet, but a friend of mine told me it was pretty fun. And, um... Shazam. I watched Shazam not too long ago, and I loved that. But that's probably because it was a lot more light-hearted than most of the DC stuff seems to be, which I think is something they're missing. Uh, truth be told, too damn long. Yeah, see, that's the thing I've always found about movies lately, too. Because uh, we've recently watched some older movies. Like, we watched Rush Hour not long ago. It's the first time I'd watched Rush Hour in years. And that's the thing about movies from, like, even 15, 20 years ago. Not all of them, but the majority of them are like, you know what? An hour and a half. That's all we need. Bing, bang, boom. Movie's done. So anything that was approaching the three-hour mark was usually like an epic movie of some kind, like Titanic or something like that. But just for regular action movie stuff, it's like, hour and a half? Perfect. But nowadays, and I do kind of blame the Marvel movies for it, is that, yeah, any action movie worth its salt has to be at least two and a half hours long, probably closer to three, and you gotta stick around to the very end because they always put little things at the end of the credits. Sometimes they use the end credit scenes well, other times it's like, so I stuck around for the entirety of this for this for some reason. <laughs> this joke, which is nowhere near any as good as the rest of the movie? I don't know. Now I'm just an old man complaining about things. That's basically what's happening here. all baked it in origin stream like what what game is that in particular the only game with the uh, origins that i can think of in the title is uh, dragon age but i don't know if you're talking about that Oh, the stream name itself was Big CD and Origin Story? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to check that out. I didn't see that. Where we learn the whys and wherefores of one Baked ZD. How he became the legend he is today. Your longest stream to date? Oh boy. <laughs> We stop and wonder, it's like, when, what has my longest stream been? You know what it is? I think the longest stream I ever had was when I finished Chrono Trigger last month or the month before. Because I was adamant that I was going to finish it that night, and then I was streaming until like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was like five and a half hours in, basically. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it was fantastic, don't get me wrong. I love Chrono Trigger and I was happy to finish it, but holy shit. The way this is going, I might have to spend just as long finishing this if I keep dying in this one spot. Unless you James Bond.
The rules of Ferrari origin name came from uh, back when you had money. Now you have no money, just bills. So it's a dream screen name. <laughs> screen name again. The end. Oh, I feel that. I think a good many of us have money woes these days. Alright, I think I need to actually rush forward and chop these guys up. Or at least this guy. Now, if I remember correctly, over here is where the bazooka dude is, so this is going to be dangerous. Yes. Alright, I, I should be able to rush him now with the machete. Hopefully. We did it! We've made it further than before! And it's a dead end! <laughs> That's great. I love that! Is this going to lead me where I need to go? That would be nice. Probably not, but it'd be nice. All that heartache for nothing. Oh, that's two bazooka guys. Let's uh, go back to the other place. Let's go back over here and head down. Maybe this just leads me right to where that is. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Yep, that's exactly it. Alright, so that just loops up there, so there's no sense in going down that way. What about this one? Okay, this might lead me somewhere. I hope this leads me somewhere. <laughs> I feel like this might be it. Okay, so if I die and have to come back, it's the first junction that leads down, I think. Just so I don't have to go through all that rigmarole again. Okay, the fortunate thing is I don't think there's much more be past this area of the game. I think I've got one more boss fight before I get uh, to Golgov himself. Providing this mook doesn't kill me. doesn't work. Does now! I like how the bazooka guy didn't even wonder why the hell the other dude was just fucking grenades. Yeah, sometimes he just gets overexcited. Okay. This should lead me to the front door. Ah, no! There we are! Oh, it's Jaws! Hooray! I'm going to die, probably. I see you're as witty as ever, eh, Jaws? What am I supposed to do with him? 
Oh, those are magnets. He gets stuck to them and then I need to hit him. That's what it is. Ah! Oh my god! That's horrific! Oh no. I thought this was going to be easier than this. I don't really know how this works. Ah! I thought I had him that time. <clears throat> Ah, shit. I don't know what kind of range he has either is the thing. It seems like he can grab me from pretty far away. I, I don't know why I'm using the, um, the shield. It's not going to defend me against him. Maybe I should put on the vest. I don't know if that will. He's really only good for one strike when he gets stuck. Ah! Nope. The vest might uh, mitigate some of the damage, but it doesn't completely defend me. I also like how he's green. You know, just to make the implication that he's Frankenstein or something. Or the monster, I suppose, if I want to be more specific. And he got little wiggly legs! I always thought he had a magnetic personality. Did I just kill him? So I let Hard Job live, but I kill Jaws. Which is funny, because Jaws is usually portrayed as being more sympathetic in the movies, if I remember correctly, because he was in a couple of them. Kids left away. No, I do not. This may be my last stand then. That's cool. What did that do? just running around and flicking switches until something happens, basically. <laughs> oh boy, furnaces. Do I get to hook somebody in that later? That'd be nice. Good way to end things. Right. No way, there's something else. Oh, okay, I need to... That probably opened up a gate here, that's what that did. I understand. Moving right along then. Damn. Ooh, 
more bullets are good, but I'd really like some health, please. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, I'm dead now. I don't know if the other one's still stuck, but it must have. Door's still open. It's good to see that it actually saves my progress in that regard, then. The enemies respawn, but, you know, that's all we can do about that. I think they're stuck. Well, they were kind of stuck. I have no idea if there's any clues kicking around here that are telling me that I'm supposed to put the switches that way. That's just what I'm doing. I'm doing it until the music tells me I did it right. Oh, hi, Zhongmei! James, help me! How did you get here? When I contacted Mustafa, he told me all about Golgoth. I was unable to contact you, so I decided to pursue him myself. I walked into a trap. He's crazy! James, he's going to launch these missiles! Stop him! Okay. Aye aye. Well, he seems to be a warmongering lunatic of some kind, so I'm not surprised he's going to, you know, launch a missile at something. Oh yes, Diabolical Supervillain Plot 101. Fire missiles at everything you don't like. Oh, he's also got missiles. Speaking of missiles... I'm also firing missiles at everything I don't like. Yeah. I almost fucked that up. I did fuck that up. Well, the good thing is, I think it did save my progress, so I don't need to go back and open that door again. So let's go see if I can save Zhang Mei, I guess. I don't know if she's over this way somewhere. Okay, no, that guy does have a gun. I thought he had missiles. this lead? Yeah, these two guys have missiles, I think. Solve that problem right quick. Okay, I probably going overkill with the missiles. I'm going to need those for uh, later. Oh wait, 
<laughs> okay. Bit mistaken about uh, what way that was supposed to go. It was simpler than I thought. Okay, this is probably just more crazy bullshit where I have to keep looking for uh, switches to open up gates. It's a map with his plans for world domination! Presumably. Pretty lame plans, I guess. Thankfully, there's only so many combinations they can do with that. Got a lot of vests. Although it looks like I can only get a max of, uh... Five. And ten for the heavy. James Bond showing what he learned in spy school. If you find a switch, just flick them until you hear the musical cue that tells you you did it right. How do I know there's going to be a musical musical cue? Oh boy! Excuse me while I shut down. How am I going to know there's a musical cue? There always is. It's amazing how frequently Bacchus's weird voice can come in handy. Oh boy! What's the matter, you blind? They might be bazooka guys. They're not. That's okay. He's still dead. Oh, a med kit. Nice. I should probably use it! had another med kit. I got two. Good. Good show. They don't always fire in the same pattern. Sometimes they'll like rapidly shoot two volleys. Just enough to throw you off and make you angry. Background music in the last area was better, though, if I'm being honest. Oh, he's got a bazooka. Hey, do I actually even need to go up there? Have I opened all the gates? Let's go find out, shall we? I think it was here. I have not! I probably need to explore every wing of this monotonous base. I'll tell you what, let's equip this heavy vest before I go up and deal with that guy. I have no idea why I was not firing. Oh, 
Okay, is this the last one? Do I have any others I need to do? Can I finally go find the dude who's responsible for all this shenanigans? Like shenanigans, of course, I mean genocide, apparently. Yeah, you, you don't you don't use shenanigans when you're talking about genocide. Maybe I shouldn't have used that word. It's a bit more serious than that. Beg your pardon. Forgot to knock. Golgoth. Mr. Bond! I've been expecting you! Tell me, General Golgov, does plunging the entire region into war really compensate for the disarming of Russia? You must be referring to the arms deals. They are only a vehicle to show my power. With your disregard for human life, you are in no position to have power. The world is changing in a dangerous direction. World leaders are making treaties and disarming entire military arsenals. Without an army to enforce order, chaos will rule the world. Correction, criminal brain. The break crim- what? Is he a brain in a jar? Is that who this guy is? Correction, criminal brain. The breakdown of arms is the first step towards an era of peace and safety for all countries. Enough bond. Observe the instrument of Armageddon. Do you expect me to surrender? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die! Of course, they had to use that line from uh, Goldfinger, didn't they? I thought he was a brain jar, but he's just a dude in a mech suit, apparently. Now oh, he's got a hoverbot! I should probably use the medkit. And honestly, I don't know if I can block any of his things, so let's use the vest. Yeah, don't you wish more Bond movies ended with him fighting a dude in a mech suit? What a sad day for the world! It has just lost its greatest leader! Although you have defeated me, Bond, you cannot escape the destiny I've created! Where did the door go? I was rather verbose for his final words via rockety death, but okay. Wait, I've already been on that walkway. That, that These two areas are not this close. Apparently he's caused a bunch of dimensional warps too. James, the general started the launch sequence for his nuclear missiles. You must quickly disarm them. All right, I'm on it. What's all this bubbly bullshit? Like seriously, where are we? Set up shop on a chemical plant or something? Or is this just radioactive sludge considering all the barrels that were outside? I'm assuming I'm doing this correctly, I just need to shut everything off. Ah! Wait. Oh. Okay. Ah, hello Joker, welcome back to the stream. Long time no see. <laughs> 7 for 007. Subscribe for 7 months. Thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. I believe you're having a lovely day. Okay, yeah, this is what the mirror is for. That's what the mirror is for. Of all things. Wait, does that mean... I might have been... I, 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 it might be that I was supposed to shut off the other switch and I could use this to get past.
I'm confused. I am horribly confused. All those are in the off position, aren't they? I would assume that they were off. Damn! Wait, what? Well, I'm probably going to die now. Oh, that's just regular bullets, I think. Yeah. I'm still dead. Okay, I have to start here. Good, I don't have to fight the boss again. That would be hellishly annoying. Is it just me or is the music getting faster? Do 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 do. It would really suck if there was a time limit on this, and the time kept counting down. Okay, no. Alright, I can't get out that way, with that switch flick like that. So I guess I just need to keep going down this path until I find the main shutoff switch, is that it? I thought they were the shutoff switches. Or I just throw all these levers in the off position. I don't know. This is a very long game. Because <laughs> last time I streamed this, I think I was playing it for two and a half hours. Now, <coughs> now granted, <laughs> I've seen... I've seen somebody uh, do a speed run of this in like 40 minutes. So... Although they likely didn't get lost in the maze of the goddamn uh, radioactive barrels like I did, so, you know. Okay, yeah, that's a, uh... Fuck! Fuck! Uh, I really wish I had a med kit. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, this is gonna suck. Wait, no, I'm good. Well, the dude, that, that Mustafa guy who gave me this mirror wasn't kidding about the extreme defenses. down here. Why does it seem like she's had an easier time of it than I have? Oh no. I'm probably gonna die again and have to do this whole bullshit over- wait, why am I not using the vests? I should have been using the vests this whole time. No, we turned back on again. The best way to achieve peace is by destroying everything! Yes, Bond understands what Golgov was talking about this whole time.
I like how I keep flicking them back on. It's like, yeah, no. Nope, that's a hole. How many of these missiles are there? And how do I know when I flick them all off? That's a laser. Wait, is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I gotta go this way now? On my way over to where Zhang Mei is? Uh, this path is still unobstructed, so- Oh, that's lasers! Mirror! Shield! Ah! If this was a Legend of Zelda game, I'd have a shield that did both. I would have a mirror shield. It would be a mirror shield. It'd be great. Oh, there she is. Shut down the power grid, and let's get out of here! Sure thing. Oh, I'm done. Thank Christ! <laughs> I like how they had that one little scene. Are you okay? Zhang Mei? Now that Golgov's operation has been destroyed, my people and I can begin to rebuild our lives. I want to thank you for helping make that possible. Thank you for the bits baked. I did it love forever after, or however long it usually lasts for a Bond girl. With the missiles in competent hands, we can enjoy a well-deserved vacation. What did you have in mind? I thought I would take you home on a slow boat to China, of course. Oh, James. I like how they're using... Oh, also, uh, thank you for the 100 bits there, Rolls. Oh, did they just toss that boat out, out from their pocket? I gotta tell you what that was. Remember, I don't know if you were watching last time I streamed this, but when we first got to MI6's branch in London, and I killed a man who was in a rocket recliner in Q's lab. He went rocketing into the the recliner, went rocketing into the wall, and blew a hole in it. I went into the hole in the wall, and I found something that was called the marble. It was this little thing that's been in my inventory this entire time. That's what that was. The marble is an inflatable boat. And you wouldn't have gotten this ending if you didn't pick up the marble. Which you could have missed. Because you didn't need to get it to carry on with the game. Again, it, it's weird. It's weird that that's a thing that they had in this game. <laughs> well done, Bond. This British submarine is currently en route to China. They've been asked to escort you and your guests there. Please report back to London as soon as possible. James, it sounds like our trip is being cut short. Relax, darling. The captain of this vessel owes me a favor. We won't see land for a very long time. Oh, James. Indeed. And there it is. I actually recognize some of these names. From Nintendo of America, at least. Howard Lincoln, for example, was a pretty big dude in Nintendo back in the 90s. Try these names to play the card games. So yeah, that's another thing, too. You can put in this as your name and your save file, and it just immediately takes you to the card minigames. 
so I can play B Blackjack, Baccarat, or Red Dog, whatever the hell I want. Anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, it just brings me back to the beginning. Well, let's actually try that. Just, just to see. B... Jack. Oops. It'd be real funny, you know, if uh, there was a guy named Bob Jack or something like that, and he just put in his initials. It's like, oh yeah, my name is Bob Jack, Robert Jack, so I'll just put in B Jack, you know? And then he just immediately starts playing Blackjack. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what this game was. Yeah, see, there you go, it takes you immediately into Blackjack. Bet all the money. We're gonna bet all our money on one hand of Blackjack before we stop this. See if my luck is just as shitty as it usually is. Deal. Oh yeah, the soundtrack in the casino was great. Hit me. Alright, that's... 12... 19. Stand. Whoa! I'm just gonna keep betting all of my money and see how long it takes for me to lose. I would not be good in a casino. It's it's a neat tune. There are a lot of really good songs in this game, which is interesting. 19? Yeah, I think I'm going to stand. I lost. Motherfucker got 20. Wait. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, that's it for that. Alright, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, let me, uh, get the screen over here, switch over to the webcam. Okay, do I have somebody I can throw you over to before I leave? Uh, Vi Beat Foo is currently playing something called Journey to the Savage Planets. So I'll send you on over to him, I think. Da da da. Let me just set that raid up there now. Alright, so... If you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so, and hopefully you'll find folks who join me again next time, which will probably on Tuesday, be on Tuesday, hopefully, where I'll carry on with some more Yakuza, of course. So until then, as always, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great day. So long for now.